Hi, my name is Mary Elizabeth, and I am the surviving ed blogger here at Healthy Place. Today, let's talk rigidity. In my experience, rigid thoughts and behavioral patterns fuel eating disorder compulsions. Now, I will fully own that I crave order, structure, consistency, and routine, but it's not a far leap from routine to rigidity. And when I'm forced outside of the safe, predictable box I create for myself, my anxiety levels start to rise. And my instinct is to reach for the eating disorder tendencies that will help me regain a sense of control, even when it's false. That played out for me most recently in a hospital room of all places. Last week, my husband underwent hip surgery for a tumor on his bone. Fortunately, the tumor was benign, but it had been causing him severe pain for more than a year, so it needed to be operated on. And I knew this was coming. I had the exact date and time in my calendar, and I knew what my role would be in the process. Considering that he would be under anesthesia, I had to drive him to and from the hospital and wait there during the procedure. But since I despise even the thought of not being in control of my own routine and environment, I failed to plan ahead. And I felt completely outside of my element. It was a different environment. The sense of routine was non-existent. And I felt immobilized by anxiety to the point where I could barely function. To the point where I couldn't even be emotionally present for my spouse who was on an operating table. I had one task that actually mattered that afternoon, which was to show up for my significant other, to be a loving and supportive partner. And I couldn't do it because I couldn't see beyond my own need for rigidity. And that's when it becomes so problematic. See, rigidity has a trickle down effect that harms those we love and holds us back from freedom and abundance and presence of mind. When we can't be flexible and adaptable and resilient, we shrink ourselves into this small, contained tunnel vision type of living and the eating disorder thrives in those conditions. When I feel anxious because I can't regain order in my immediate sphere, I want to revert back to the eating disorder tendencies that I feel safe with, that offer me comfort and familiarity and stability no matter how detrimental they are to my well-being in the long run. The gifts of flexibility, on the other hand, are wide and expansive and, and they open life up to other possibilities, even if they fall outside of our best laid plans or our stringent little comfort zones. So, I'm starting to learn that. And yes, the lesson was difficult. I can't have that moment back in the hospital. I can't reverse time and be there for my husband in a moment of crisis when he needed me. But moving forward, I can choose a different, more fluid, more flexible, more adaptable, less rigid path.